Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. So I think every, uh, it's a time is noon in France. So everybody feel hungry. So please forgive me a time to presentations. So uh, most of other talks are related to uh, how to say the using the free FEM to implement your scientific or mathematical idea. But my talk, my this talk is completely on the computer engineering side. So uh, this is an overview of my work. Uh, actually, so I implement uh, just an interface to the free FEM to, to how to say, to, uh, to write or to produce a PDF file directory. Uh, so uh, here, the name is a plot PDF. This is the name of my module. And the usage is very simple. It's quite similar to the built-in plot command. So just you give the object you want to plot. And here is the name uh, of the PDF file. Then you can get several type of the output. Uh, here, is, here are some examples. Later, so I will explain so much more detail. And if you want to try my module, so please find it in the internet. So uh, you can find it easily by searching the words uh, free FEM and plot PDF. Uh, this is a uh, official site of the Japanese uh, free FEM team. And then, uh, so this is the aim of uh, my research. So still the 3D computation is much more interesting, but the 2D FEM computation is still important uh, in uh, fundamental research and of course in uh, education and then uh, limiting to the FEM, free FEM. The, I think the uh, there are many tu tutorials and running FEM is very, uh, uh, how to say, attractive. And of, of course, the free FEM can write the EPS file, the encapsulated postscript. And this is easy to edit, uh, but uh, nowadays, I, in my feeling, the EPS is not standard, unfortunately. So you need additionally uh, to install the commercial or non-commercial non software to handle the EPS file. Or uh, some OS can directly it reach the e e PostScript file, but I think the Windows is uh, one of the most common uh, operating system. Uh, Windows could not uh, handle the EPS file directly. And uh, uh, many of you who use an LaTeX, and then of course LaTeX can handle the EPS. However, nowadays, so the EPS is uh, not standard, I think. So uh, in this, under these situations, so the my e object of this research is, uh, how to say, uh, just uh, generate the PDF file directly from the free FEM. So I propose the two extensions. The part one, I would like to explain the extension to the built-in plot command. The second one, second part is the main part. The second one, so that I would like to implement, uh, I, I would like to realize the PDF output by using the dynamic plotting module in the free FEM features. Okay, so let's move to the first part. Ah, sorry, before that, so today, so uh, this talk used this uh, very famous uh, L, L shape uh, computations uh, to solve the Poisson equation here. Then the output is this one. Many, but uh, I hope many body is familiar to this result. So the first one. So we would like to move to the part uh, part one. So this is only the one slide. So I implement the some uh, extension to the built-in plot command. Uh, the everything is input in this only one patch file. So uh, this is a very classical style in the development of the programming. But then, uh, you just patch this file to the source code and then uh, build from scratch, then you can get an uh, improved uh, plot command, uh, improved free FEM with an uh, uh, plot command, which can generate the PDF file. So the inside this patch file, the algorithm is very simple. Uh, just I add the PDF or SVG instructions uh, which correspond to the EPS instructions. Uh, so here, so SVG, SVG, well, some of, uh, most of you know this, uh, what is this? Uh, this is a scalar uh, vector graphics uh, suitable for the web browser. 
And then uh, EPS and PDF and SVG, they are commands are very similar. So it's very simple to implement the, to, to implement uh, the proto command to generate the PDF and SVG. And the usage is completely same as the built-in proto command. So here is uh, some examples. So uh, you just put an option, PDF equal your file name and SVG equal your file name. Then you can get a uh, uh, PDF file and SVG. And of course, this is uh, so this uh, yeah yes so the this proto command can handle the only the mesh. So the, you, if you want to get a mesh, uh, you can type you can use this uh, command instead of the PS equal uh, file name. So this is only the uh, extension to the built-in proto command. And the second one. This is a uh, main part of this talk, so that we implement the PDF extension by using the dynamic loading module of the free FEM. So uh, this is a module, so you have to compile this one by yourself. Uh, this is a compile command, so you need a uh, Zlib. Uh, but an, uh, if you don't have a Zlib, you can erase these uh, options. Then uh, here, so protpdf.cpp. So this includes a whole of my uh, product. So uh, there, so everything is everything is put in this cpp file, so that you don't need an, uh, other PDF libraries. So every PDF commands are written in this cpp C++ file. So here is some example I already shown. So I would like to continue. What is our generation? Uh, what is our uh, output? So in our module, we can output the five type of uh, five style of output. So here is an example. So here is a mesh page. So here is an index. So later, so I will explain much more. And this is a BE label, the boundary element label. And then this is an ice line of the solution. This is a field style, how to say, the level of the solutions. So you can change the output style by these options. However, so the this prot command, this prot PDF command can generate the PDF file which contains several pages, and as a default, uh, the mesh page is true and ice line is true and the fill page is true. So you can get this one, this one, and this one, and this index and the B level is uh, mainly the purpose for the debug. So the as a default, so these uh, pages are not generated. And there are several other options. So I think I think uh, most of them are similar to the original built-in plot command. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to the uh, much more detail about my module. So this is a typical uh, output of the index of the triangles and the vertices and edges. Of course, so the advanced users, so this is not expert users, so you do not need this kind of type of uh, output. But for beginners, beginners mean, I mean the, the student for numerical analysis course. So we have to say how to implement the, free, uh, the FEM. So you need an, uh, triangles, edges, the triangles and then, uh, vertices and edges. So the index is very important. I explain in my class, and this is a kind of uh, how to say uh, such ideas. And next one is a uh, developer for the by the free FEM. So free FEM can define the boundaries by the command uh, the type of borders, and uh, probably you may know what is what is this. So the, sometimes you put a label to the, each borders. So here, level one, two, three, three, two, one. So this means uh, probably the one, two, three, and three, two, one. And as default, uh, built-in proto command cannot handle this kind of output. But sometimes this is, uh, I think, uh, important for debugging the your EDP file. So this three, uh, there are four three here, and uh, this means that uh, this uh, gray e triangle. This is a Triangle generated by the free FEM measure, and then uh, each number, each uh, B level, level number is uh, put on the each triangle. So there is a several, uh, how to say, several numbers on single edge. 
and one, 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 and so on. And this is an uh, output of our, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so this is an output of our solution, and uh, our module can generate this type of output. So here is an, uh, only the solution, and if you want to see the solution on the mesh, so the with mesh option can control the, uh, how to say, the uh, level of the mesh, uh, level of mesh. So the, the as default, so the with mesh equals zero, so there is no output, no overweight mesh. Uh, but uh, if you change this one to the 1.0, this is a completely black uh, mesh. And then uh, if this value is 0 0.5, that between the zero to zero and one, then you can get a gray mesh on the solutions. And uh, as a default, so the built-in plot commands uh, generate, so the, how to say, linear interpolation to the solutions, even if you use an P2, P2 finite element. However, so our module can handle the P2 element directly. Directly means an, uh, uh, in PDF, it's a similar to the EPS uh, PostScript. Uh, PDF can implement the cubic Bezier curve. So we we use these features to draw the P2 contour, uh, P2 finite element. So you can you can get a very smooth uh, curve as an ice line and as a few types output. I think so you can see clearly the difference between the near, near the corner. So here is a very smooth, uh, our uh, proposed module can generate a very smooth curve like here, but then a built-in plot command generates, a, uh, how to say, the straight, uh, some seg the curve is consist uh, approximate by the segment. But uh, if you want to get a uh, smooth curve, you have to put an uh, option, if we type is P2. If you forget these options, so even if you compute the uh, finite, if you use a finite element, a uh, piece of finite element, you can get this kind of, uh, how to say, not smooth solutions, unfortunately. Uh, today I would like to skip this one. And our implementation can, uh, now, so this is under, still under uh, experimental part, but uh, almost all finished. So the, our module can generate the vector field. So finally, I would like to overlay the ice lines like the built-in plot command, but this is still experimental part. Okay, so uh, I would like to finish my talk by this slide. So uh, now, so I'm implementing the, so my, at the present, uh, my library is limited to the 2D case, but a uh, time evolutionary problem can, so we couldn't, uh, handle the time evolutionary problem. I mean, that we couldn't put the several numerical result in single PDF file. And uh, we couldn't treat the parallel uh, computational status like a DDM. And uh, now we implement only the P0, P1, uh, P1 and C, and the P2 element. So other FE type, we, don't, uh, we couldn't uh, treat. So a complex valid function is not implemented, uh, and 3D computation, uh, 3D numerical result is also not implemented. So anyway, in the near future, I would like to give some uh, improvement on these points. Thank you for your kind attention. So thanks uh, for this new feature. So uh, I have some question, but if some other body have some question. Uh... Oui, pour moi, Olivier, j'ai une question. Oui, vas-y, Olivier. Uh, okay, uh, this is a great idea uh, you have uh, because it's going to be very useful. Uh, there is one uh, uh, thing in the uh, free frame plot at the moment is you can change the scale by plus or minus on the keyboard. Do you intend to do similar? Uh, now it's impossible. So sorry. So that uh, I couldn't simulate all the uh, options. But uh, now you mean the I I concentrate on the file output. Uh -huh. Okay. So probably you say about the screen output. Yeah. Yes. No. My uh, ah. Okay. So sorry. So now currently, so I didn't. Uh, it's my, it's out of my scope, sorry. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you.
Okay, so me, I have two questions. First, uh, of course, we can put that directly in the main uh, scoop of REFEM if you are interested. So, so that in the next uh, distribution on uh, one more, uh, you can, everybody can use this feature. And secondly, uh, uh, to make Zoom, as Olivier said, you have in the plot a BB uh, option to define uh, a box. And you say you just want to plot on this box. So of course you can do that in 2D uh, and use uh, the basic plot to, to see what is a good box uh, before. Uh, and third, uh, I think when you use your PDF plot, when you take uh, a finite element function U, you don't use it is a finite element. You can put uh, any uh, expression here. Ah, okay. Uh, so you can, you, you can uh, say uh, fr equal x2 plus y2, and you say plot on mesh th f. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, this is the reason why you want to put p2. Uh, ah, in, okay. in, in free frame, by default, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If some people are interested, when you do plot inside mm -hmm. the finite element, they split the triangle in mm -hmm. some way to be more precise. For example, if you make P2, you split any triangle uh, by uh, not four, but uh, nine triangle. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, you can do the same. Uh, okay. here to say I want to have a refinement of my mesh when you plot. But I think it's a really good uh, interface. I'm really interested to put that in free frame. Thank you. Thank you so much. So still I have reading on uh, PDFs. Uh, I'm studying the implementation with the free FEM itself. So yeah. I would like to continue to the reading the your right. source code. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much. So now the next speaker. So I say, of course, bravo, bravo. Uh,